Hi, I'm Danielle with Dear Laredo Fox 39, and this is an exclusive interview with one of Hollywood's new leading men, Jeff Stolt, of Fox 39's new show, The Finder. Jeff's work includes being on the set of films like the romantic comedy, She's Out of My League, The Breakup, and Clint Eastwood's J. Edgar's. Some of his television credits include being on Seventh Heaven and Happy Town. Well, hello, Jeff. First off, I want to tell you that the beautiful ladies of Laredo say hello. I say hello right back to the beautiful ladies of Laredo. Will you just give us a brief description of what The Finder is about for those who've never watched it? Let's see. The Finder, uh, the creator of Bones, created this show called The Finder, which is based on a series of books called The Locator. And uh, in the books... We, we have a Vietnam veteran who is very good at finding things. He suffers a, um, let's see, um, I'll, I'll say it like this. In the, we should talk about the TV show because that's more important. But in our TV show, uh, it's kind of a way to bring Bones and the Finder together. So we didn't really do a spinoff of Bones. We just did a Bones. It's his, I describe it, it's like um, Bones did a crossover episode with a show called The Finder that just didn't exist yet. Um, so David's character is a... Um, He's a, he's a former, uh, he's, an, he's an Iraq veteran. Uh, my character also is an, a veteran in Iraq. And we met because when David went AWOL, so he could be at the birth of his son, I tracked him down. I was a military policeman. So we don't like each other from the start. Turns out I suffer um, from a brain injury that I uh, was, that was, uh, that I, I suffered in Iraq uh, in a roadside bomb. And so now Walter, in his uh, current life, he suffers from, um, the symptoms of uh, PTSD, and so he's got a little. He's a little. He's a little odd, and because of that, he goes about his business in very unorthodox ways. Uh, he, he lacks a little bit of social grace, and he doesn't have a filter, similar to to me in person, as you could sort of tell. But um, he his, he's, he's got a very single-minded pursuit of finding things, and and that's what he really does. And he feels like if he doesn't find find what he set up to find that uh, you know, he may end up just dying. So we've got a very interesting character and uh, a show about a guy who's just a little off and these kind of unlikely partnerships that form around him with his co-stars Michael Clark Duncan and uh, Maddie Hassan and Mercedes Michonne. And Jeff, how has it been working with the cast of The Finder? Well, uh, Michael Clark Duncan is, as is expected, he's just kind of this big giant lovable goofball i mean he's been around forever he's got an oscar nom he knows what he's doing um mercedes my love interest is a blast she's very nice to look at so that doesn't hurt and my favorite by far is maddie who is just uh she's going to come out of this and end up being a huge huge star she this is one of her first jobs she's smarter than i am she's uh, more mature than i am she's a better actor than i am and she's been doing this for about six months and I've been doing it for 12 years so it really kind of annoys me but she's a blast. I feel like I sort of hit the lottery with the character because I've been I've been looking in my career for a guy uh, for, for an opportunity to be what um, you know, what Hollywood kind of pigeonholes you into being the leading man but usually leading men are serious and they you know, they got to be cool and they're kind of the stiff guys. And I got an opportunity to be a leading man who doesn't take himself seriously. Um, and that to me is much more fun and much more entertaining. And obviously I hope that if, what, if I find it entertaining that that will translate to the audience. But so I get to play with, with that every day. And then these characters around me kind of, uh, unfortunately for them, they're kind of stuck watching this. Uh, like every day, um, this train wreck happening with me, and I, they don't—they don't know what to expect. They just know that if there's an opportunity in a scene to do something stupid, I'm gonna do it. So they—they um, kind of learn to that—that that kind of really, um, for them, it allows them to figure out who their characters are and and play off of that. And we've, you know, like anything, you start something new, you kind of kind of figure each other out and figure the relationship both on and off set. But I enjoy working with them. It's a blast, and I hope they enjoy working with me. I mean, they have to say yes. Now, you mentioned the book earlier in this interview. Did you ever get to read them? I did, actually. I waited until we did the show. 
Um, actually, the creator Hart Hansen, um, he had, you know, he said, if you're going to read them, wait until after we do the crossover because, it, and it was it was a good idea. Uh, I didn't want to um, kind of inform my character based on the books um, because we are it is born from that book and and it is the idea is there but we're definitely the books are much more serious in tone and the finder itself is uh, as as you know now is a uh, is a little quirky and a little bit more fun um so i didn't want to base you know, my my work on the character off of the books as much as i did off the script all right and the last question what excites you the most about working and starring on this series what excites me the most is that um, it's on the air <laughs> um, and we have an opportunity to go do what, you know, working with the cast is you work, you're doing a network drama show, we live there, um, we're there all day every day, so you have to like the people that you work with and I've been really lucky and they've put people around me that are that are good people and again like I said uh, you know Mercedes and Maddie are I feel sorry for those two girls because they come into this world with two kind of big personalities of Mike and I um, who are set in our ways and these girls kind of they show up there and thank God for those girls because they're like the uh, the comic relief to us on set and um, we we've got an interesting family it's like we've got this really dysfunctional this giant black fella, the goofy white guy, this, and then two beautiful, uh, beautiful girls. It's, a, it's kind of a fun, if you just look at the poster, it's a fun thing to look at. So um, I'm, I'm excited to, to have an opportunity to go to work and do this show. The Finder premieres tomorrow, Friday, April 6th at 7 p.m. on Near Fox 39, and you won't want to miss the winning combination of talent on tomorrow's all-new episode of The Finder with guest star 50 Cent. Ladies and gentlemen of Laredo, Tune in Friday at 7 for the spring premiere of The Finder. Um, otherwise, a baby unicorn will die. <laughs>